What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to the Hero Challenge. In today's episode, we're going to be unlocking Spectre's Hero Head, which requires you to get uh, four kills shortly after coming out of active camo in a single game. You have to do that four times. Now, just like while, with all the other episodes, I've done that three times already. We're saving the last one here for my little live commentary where I'm going to share some tips. We're going to be playing Team Deathmatch for this one. I find since they bumped uh, Team Deathmatch up to 100 score per kill, it has become a whole lot easier to complete this, these challenges. Uh, just because you earn these challenges a lot faster in Team Deathmatch compared to objective game modes. This one is honestly going to be pretty easy, and you can do it in pretty much any game mode you want, but I just find it's going to be super easy in Team Deathmatch, so let's hop into a game and we'll see how we do. Alright guys, here we go, we got a match on Metro, which isn't one of my favorite maps for a challenge like this, but it'll still work just fine. This isn't going to be that difficult of a challenge. I'm probably not even going to show you the whole game, I'll just play until I actually uh, unlock it, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be golden. All right, so let's just use this fancy little wall run route that I love to do. Usually takes them off guard. Never mind. <laughs> well, I, I thought I was being all fancy and cool. Whatever. All right, let's get this. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, and of course I get the assist. Uh oh, things are already not going my way. As soon as my opening route fails, things usually go downhill from there, and then they go back uphill. We'll be good. We'll be good. All right, let's get in towards their spawn and hopefully not flip their spawn immediately like by the time we get there, which might happen. All right, we're going to switch it up. We're going to go with a CUDA. I need something a little bit more mobile. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Give me a break. We'll get into this as soon as we get our active camo. That's what we're focusing on. So a couple tips with that active camo. Uh, the big thing is it's all about timing. It's it's 100% just getting your timing right. If you call it in too early, then you might not be able to find an enemy, and that kind of sucks. So you want to be calling it in just before you realize you're about to get into a gunfight, and you're confident that you're going to win that gunfight. I mean, it's the same thing with a lot of the ability challenges that we've been doing. It's the same idea, but uh, we it does change a little bit from, from uh, ability to ability. You, you want to make sure you're confident that you're about to get into a gunfight that you are comfortable with. Alright, teammates dying over here. Teammates dying everywhere. I don't know where this person went. Oh, there you are. Okay. All right, so we got our active camo. The big thing with this is since Team Deathmatch now goes to 100 kills, if you are doing this in Team Deathmatch, you don't need to get a double kill every time you do this or a triple kill or anything like that. Although that one still counts. You have plenty of time after you come out of active camo to get that. So I actually got two from the Shadows medal medals from that, even though there was a pretty big pause between those kills. So just be, be aware of that as well. Uh, make sure you get that one kill. Like that's what you're aiming for. That's what you should be aiming for is at least that one kill every time you use active camo. And you want to be confident in that gunfight. And then anything else is just a bonus. Everything else is a bonus. And honestly, I don't even like use the ability to try and like be sneaky and stuff like that. I just use it before a gunfight and that's it. I'm not, I'm not worrying about trying to be sneaky about it. It's just use the ability, then get in a gunfight. Simple as that. And I believe the faster you come out of the active camo, it will actually save the remainder of your active camo. So if you do it like right before a gunfight, come out of the come out of active camo instantly, and then just get your kill. Oh crap! Ugh, I wasn't reloaded. <laughs> if I would have hit that first gun butt thing, I would have been good. Would have been good. All right. Oh crap! See, this is bad timing. Oh, it might have worked though. There it is. Okay. That's kind of bad timing. I heard footsteps in this building. I thought she was coming around, but there we have it. We have. All of those. Let's get one more since that one was a little bit sketchy. And I like to show a few decent examples. I mean, there's a couple examples already where I got double kills with it. So you can see it's not one of the more difficult challenges. Uh, definitely helps if you have six sense or awareness. So you know when you're about to get into a gunfight or even just a UAV up, something like that. And then you can go into that gunfight with confidence that you're going to win it. But let's push in towards their spawn here. We're about to earn this again real soon. That's a nice thing about that, that active camo. Ooh, I got wrecked. Nice thing about the active camo is, like I was saying, as soon as you come out of that active camo, it doesn't reset the entire ability. It stops it wherever you're running out at, and you re start recharging straight from there. So, like, I've already got it earned again, just about. Never mind. Oh, crap. Okay, this guy, I feel like I can take... Oh, no, never mind. I thought my teammate killed the guy with the shotgun. Apparently not. I wasn't watching my minimap carefully enough, I guess. All right, we'll get in there, and we'll get at least one more uh, active camo kill here for you guys to see. Just be fancy with it. There we go. Nice triple. 
And is that three from the Shadows Medal? I think that was only two from the Shadows Medal, but that's fine. There we go. I think that's showed you enough examples there of how that works. I'm not going to bother playing the whole game for you and making you sit through that. You can see just how easy it really is. Just make sure you're confident you're about to win a gunfight. I'll skip ahead here until we can have a look at the hero gear. All right, guys, there we go. We ended up getting it there. I don't know how many I ended up getting. I got 11 from the Shadow Medals by the end of the game. We ended up losing that game by 15 kills as well, even though I went 36 and 12 because none of my teammates, teammates went positive. But hey... That's what it's like playing solo. And there we have it. That one actually looks really good. I really like that. That's what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I have one more ability to do. Actually, I don't know which order I'm going to upload these in, but I've still got Firebreak to record. I might do Firebreak for next up. I, I don't know. This is all a mess because it's all pre-recorded. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you guys next time.